All right, welcome to my week four challenge guide. So this week we only have really two or three challenges that require a guide, and two of those can be grouped together. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do the destroy gatherers challenge as well as deal damage with the gatherers remains. So neither challenge is that difficult. You just have to know where to go to find them. So there are six spawns for the gorger, and in order to find them right away, you need to hover because they do not spawn until the first circle appears. So you have to wait 60 seconds until the first circle appears on the map and then about 10 seconds more and then the first gorger will spawn. And you'll see a bright red beam only for about 8 seconds on the map. That's it. So you have to be on the lookout for this red beam. Now like I said, there's 6 spawn locations for these gorgers and I'll show you all 6 in just a second after we find out where the first one is. Okay, so now we have the first circle. Now we need to keep an eye out for the red beam. Hopefully it lands near Salty, but we'll see. And like I said, it's real quick, so you might not even notice it. There it is right there. Exact location where I thought it would spawn. It seems to spawn near Salty Springs the most frequent. I don't know why, but it does. So there's the Gorger right there. That's what you need in order to get the Gatherers, and it will spew tons of these out. Now, the gatherers will do 10 damage per little fireball that they shoot out. Whereas the gorger, I think, does 45 damage, if I remember correctly. Here comes the babies. These are the gatherers right here. These are what you want to kill. And they actually are called gatherers because they loot up. They will go to chess and steal loot and bring it to the mama gorger. All right. Leave me alone here, please. I think... She can poop out four at a time, but right now I'm only seeing three. Nope, there are four there. And they're not the brightest. Their sole objective is to get loot. Like, this guy's going towards this chest over here, and he will blast it until he opens it, and then he'll steal the loot and bring it back to the mom. And when they have that little lightning bolt underneath their butt, that means they have loot. So if I kill him right now, he will have loot. Oh, he dropped it. I made him poop his pants. So you have to destroy 20 of these, and every time you kill one of the gatherers, they fall down and then explode. And here are the little baby fireballs that I was talking about. Now not only do you have to destroy 20 of these, but you also have to deal damage with one of the bodies. So when you kill them, you can pick them up before they explode, hopefully. Yes, got it. And there's two different things you can do with this. You can tap fire, which makes this last forever, or you can do a beam, which will instantly destroy the weapon. So let's just see if you can destroy babies with these and see if it counts. Yes, it does count. So a great, great way to do this is to just grab one of these bodies and use it. Because like I said, this will never expire unless you swap weapons or do the full beam. Boy, the accuracy is not very good. Look at this. These guys are hard to hit. Now you can also try to complete the other challenge by actually damaging the Gorger. This should count towards the Party Assist challenge. Now let me showcase the beam. Again, you just hold it down, and it will charge up and fire, and you then throw it away. All right, so let's just see if that counted towards the Party Assist challenge. I'm sure it did. Yes, it did, 904. Okay, hey, hey, you little turd. Yeet. What? So you could probably kill all 20 by yourself if you're alone, but chances are there's going to be a million people here as well, so good luck. Now let me just go over here and I'll show you all six spawn locations. I just don't want to get blown up by these guys. Alright, so like I said, there's six spawn locations for the Gorgers, and thus the Gatherers as well. The most frequent one, like I said, is right here, just south of Salty Springs. This is the prime location for whatever reason. Now the second most spawn location is southwest of Lazy Lake on this island right here. Tons of times I've seen the Gorgers spawn right there. The third spawn location is right here on the left side of Holly Hedges, kind of near this road right over here. The fourth spawn location is just left of Retail Row. This bridge right here, it spawns kind of near this. I'd say right about here. So in between Retail Row and this bridge. So look for the beam of red right there. 
Now, less frequently, but I have seen this one, the fifth spawn location is up north of Stark Industries. So the radio tower right here, just south of it. So right about here, between the Stark Island and the radio tower, I have seen it up there as well. The sixth and final location is very, very rare, but I have seen it down here as well. So here's Slurpy Swamp right here. Here is the Fortilla. It's this giant island right here. This one. It spawns right about where I have my mark. And like I said, I've only seen this once ever, but it does spawn there. So there you go. Those were all six locations of the Gorgers, which of course spawn these little gatherers. And depending on how many people are here with you, you potentially can finish this in one shot because it will spawn unlimited gatherers. You just have to sit there and kill them all. So as you can see, I got 12 right now and I was talking this entire match. So imagine if I focused up, I could get 20 easily. And then you can go ahead and finish off the Gorger because they spawn so much loot. I'm gonna do the Kamehameha here to finish him off before the storm takes him away. If he gets caught in the storm, then he will teleport away. But look at all this loot you get absolutely awesome so there you go that's how you complete both of the week four challenges involving the gatherers hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter creator code which is tabor time